Welcome everyone to another Structured Deck unboxing video. This time we are going to look at Gates of the Underworld. So this one here has to do with basically the Dark World cards, which a lot of you may already be familiar with. This one, however, I was unfortunately not able to find it in first edition form for whatever reason. It's not a ridiculously hard one to find, but um, I did manage to get it. I mean, at least a regular version of it. So let's go and take a look at it. But really quickly in the back, if you are curious about that, there is the quick line. Oh my god, it hasn't focused. There we go. Yeah, there's the quick, um, you know, lineup of cards. So it's pretty cool. It's got some cards that are definitely uh, great um, collectibles that will definitely bolster up your deck a little bit. So let's go ahead and just open this up and see what's actually in here. All right, so that's it for that, I'm gonna remove that piece right there. I'm gonna take a look at these. So here, of course, is the uh, strategy stuff and all that cool stuff. And over here to power it up it's recommending generation force photon shockwave extreme victory and storm of ragnarok all right pretty cool and then here's the playmat let me go ahead and quickly show it to you in case you are curious that's how it looks Ooh, very dark i mean it's get to the underworld right makes sense why it would be super dark but yeah that's it right there okay and then this right here is version 9.1 actually for the um rule book the official rule book that's cool and lastly the actual cards themselves all right so i'm gonna go ahead and where is it right over here you always gotta find that little spot there you know that essentially makes it easy to remove all that shrink wrap and stuff okay so like i was saying dark world cards um are pretty cool they definitely are you're gonna get a bunch of them here it's a shame they're not first edition but it's okay so let me wait for it there we go this thing is Grapha, Dragon Lord of Dark World. So as you can see, it's a level eight dark fiend monster. Let's take a look at this effect. You can special summon this card from your graveyard by returning one face up dark world monster you control to the hand. Okay, except Grapha, so except itself basically. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by card effect, target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target, and then if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, look at one random card in your opponent's hand, then if it was the monster, you can special summon it to your side of the field. Damn. So, as you already know, or may know, Dark World cards primarily focus on discarding. This, alongside the Fabled archetypes, are pretty much the only ones... Oh my god, why is it taking so long to focus my camera just now? That's crazy. It takes a while now. Hmm. I gotta fix that up and polish up the lens, maybe. But yeah, Dark World cards focus primarily on discarding. Them, alongside the Fabled cards, are basically like the only archetypes that focus primarily on that. The next one is Snow, Unlight of Dark World. It's a level 4, 1700. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, if it was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, what kind of wording is that? You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Add one Dark World card from your deck to your hand. Then special summon that target, if any, in face of uh, defense position. Okay? So that's Snow right there. One thing you may already know is that all these Dark World cards are basically named around kind of wordplay from some uh, colors. Cerulean, that's Cerulean. Guru of Dark World. If this card is discarded to a griffin by a card effect, special summon this card from the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in face of defense position. When this card is special summoned by the effect of a Dark World card, your opponent must discard one card. Cool. Well, that's Cerulean right there. That's another super that you get. Pretty nice. All right, let's move on to the uh, commons. Alright, so first off we got Zur, Knight of Dark World, alright, and then you got Renji, Gatekeeper of Dark World. So this thing is an 1800 beat stick, and this one is a 2100 defender, uh, but they are vanillas, as you can see. So these are your only two vanillas that you get from this one. Then you have Khaki, Gorilla of Dark World, so that's the first one there. Uh, target long term field, destroy that target if it's discarded by card effect, okay. And you got Scar, Scout of Dark World. You got uh, Gren, which is basically green. Okay, and that's the uh, Tactician of Dark World. Brow, which is Brown, Huntsman of Dark World. Beige, Vanguard of Dark World. Uh, Brawn, which is like Bronze, Mad King of Dark World. So this one, what is this one? You can discard one card when it inflicts battle damage, that's right. Uh, Silva, Warlord of Dark World. Okay, that one's a pretty good one. And then Gold, these two are, were like boss monsters initially until that new one came around, of course. And then over here we got Rainbow, Overlord of Dark World. That's why this was the other cool one too. And then we got, so that's actually it for those. That's right. So these are all the Dark World cards that you get. 
um, which is definitely plenty of, but if you want to make a really good Dark World deck, you do have to buy more than one structure deck because some of these actually are better in multiple copies and some are not so good. We got Blyle Marquee of Darkness, okay? Then we got Trigodia, always a good card to have. Sangin is also good. Nudoria, fairly um, nerfed effect nowadays. Um, just power crap. Goblin King, good for fiends. Grave Squirmer, all right, that one's always nice. Card Guard, this is a good card actually. Um, it's essentially a 1900 attacker, but you can then transfer its counter to another monster. Then we got Battle Fader, which is a hand trap, technically a hand trap, so yeah. Lots of good stuff, mostly Trigodia, Sangan, um, and then Battle Fader can also be pretty useful. And maybe Card Guard as well, but these are essentially your, um, you know, some cool cards there, that's for sure. All right, moving on to spells. We start with the Gates of Dark World, okay. With that, all Fiend Type Monsters can throw under that attack and defense. Once per turn, you can banish one Fiend Type Monster from your graveyard, uh, discard one Fiend Type Monster, then draw one card. That's pretty good, actually, for Dark World decks. Dark World Lightning, you target one face, down card in the field, destroy it, and then you discard a card. Cool. Gateway to Dark World as well, you actually get two copies of that. Dark World Dealings, Allure of Darkness, always a great card to have. Card Destruction is also good, and Terraforming. Those are fantastic cards to always have, but it would be even better if they were first edition, but they're unfortunately not. Uh, then over here we got Dark Eruption, so that's it for spell cards, as you can see with the spell lineup. And then Trap Cards, we got Dark Scheme, the Forces of Darkness, Deck Devastation Virus, and Eradicator Epidemic Virus. Oh my god, it's crazy how fucking epidem epidemic virus. That's so ironic, considering what the hell's happening in the world nowadays. Mind Crush, Dark Deal. Oh yeah, Mind Crush, by the way, is a good card to have as well. Yeah. Dark Deal, The Transmigration Prophecy, Escape from the Dark Dimension, and Dark Bribe. So, Pretty decent stuff here. Uh, you, you even get some viruses. It, it would have been cool to have a crushed card virus, but obviously I don't think the card was eroded quite yet, so they wouldn't put a forbidden card like that. But that's essentially it for the deck here. As you can see, it's pretty good for um, if you want to use like some discarding type of effects. You know, like Dark World cards are always uh, have always been pretty awesome. It's been a pretty good deck for just using a bunch of effects, and it's one thing that. I really should probably consider for like Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays that I do, you know, in the video games because they are actually pretty cool in so many ways. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just leave it there. So um, if you have not already, you know, left a like, comment, subscribe, make sure to do that already. Um, if you want to see more of these videos in the future, of course, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.